All right, as part of the beta testing for the alien cell, I just got the new version of the software and we're gonna take it for a test run. So I'm gonna click the plus button over here to open a new canvas. And I'm going to come down here and I'm gonna click on import. And I'm gonna grab this third place logo like that. And on the side here, on the left side here, you'll see that if I expand this, we have two different paths here. We have the engrave path and then we have the cut path. So all I need to do now is set my parameters. I'll start with the engrave. And I think we're going to come up here to material. Click on material. I'm going to click on basswood. I, it is exactly three mil, millimeters. So I'm going to say sure. I hope they change that to OK. <laughs> And they've got the settings at 435. I'm going to change those settings. I'm going to raise this up to 600 millimeters per second. And I'm going to raise the engraving up to about 72. I really want it to be 70. So that's good there. 70%. And now on uh, the second path, which is the red, we're going to set that to cut. And I think that looks pretty good. Actually, I think I'm just going to change this to 10. They have it at 15, but I'm going to change it to 10. So there we go. So it's going to first engrave this and cut it. And what we can do is we can take a preview up here on the preview button. And that'll give us an idea. And you can see the overscan there. We've got plenty of room on the, on the work bed. And if you wanted to, you could come back to the beginning with the scrubber. Uh, pick something like uh, 16 times and hit play and it'll show you exactly what's going to happen on the laser. And there we go. So now we'll hit the back over here. First, you want to make sure that you're connected up here. You'll see I have the green dot. As soon as you turn on the laser, it's going to connect. So let's take a photograph of the work bed. Right now we're waiting for the laser module to get out of the way. And there's the photograph. I think we're, I want to put this up here to save some material. Oh, you know what? Let me press Control Z. I want to select all of this. <laughs> Move it all at once up here to the top left like that. So now if you wanted to go back, just click on that. And it gives you a representation on the wood, uh, what it's going to look like. And remember that up here, this area is unmarkable. So the laser head won't reach this high on the honeycomb. So you have to be somewhere uh, on the wood itself. And I think that all looks good. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and click on the button here that says process. And it's sending that to the machine. And I'll go press the button on the machine now. Okay, here we go. It's ready. I'm pressing the blue button. And that starts the job. And now the laser starts its focusing process. And it's going to be kind of hard to see because of all the reflection here and the light. But it moves out over the wood. And then it goes back to the home position. And it reads a QR code. And then it comes back to the wood one more time. And then lowers and focuses. Now, I'll show you that in just a minute. I'll rewind the actual camera inside and uh, show you the whole focusing procedure. Now, once it gets started, you're going to see a representation of the job on the screen. You can press the little camera button. That one's a little distorted because I have my body cam in there. <laughs> and I forgot to turn on the internal lighting. So, uh, unfortunately, it's in black and white. And there, now we're going back to the focusing procedure. When I hit the start button, you'll see it focuses on that QR code. And then it comes back, focuses on the wood and goes back over to the QR code one more time. Touches on that. Moves out to the machine, lowers the focus and starts the job. Now, if you have any problems with flashing lights, it, now would be probably the time to stop the video because uh, I forgot to turn on the internal lights inside the machine. So you're going to get a lot of flashing from the laser. But I'm going to leave this 
in real time because I want you to see this entire job from start to finish. Now, when I did hit the start button, the uh, air compressor did come on because I have the air set to come on. Now it's just going to go through the process here. So I'll add a little music here for entertainment purposes until it gets through. But I wanted to leave this in real time so that you can see it. So we're running right now at 600 millimeters per second and 70% power. Urban in my hand. All right, and I did forget to turn on my fume extraction, so <laughs> I wound up getting a message at the end here saying that my air purity was low, <laughs> but uh, that's it. The job is complete, and we're ready to take this off and see what it looks like. So we got a nice, clean cut, and I think maybe I had it too, too high power, but look how beautiful that came out. That looks just awesome. Cut is good. There's no burning on the back, no flashback, and pretty nice job. Pretty quickly done, faster than any of my other lasers. And I was only at 70% power, so I could get a darker burn if I bumped this up to 100% power. But all in all, a success.